Now, one of the greatest threats to Queensland's prosperity is the reckless energy policies of this Palaszczuk government, backed in by federal labor. The Queensland government has pursued energy policies based on ideology and politics. Power bills have soared. The reliability of the grid has been compromised. In contrast, my government and Tim and Deb's state LNP team are united in our commitment to growing Queensland's economy. We will not undermine the affordability and reliability of the energy system. Our commitment is to make power more affordable and more reliable. Queenslanders, <laughs> Queenslanders are paying much more for energy than they should because the state government has failed to put consumers first. The Queensland government-owned electricity generators are allowed to impose a de facto electricity tax on this state. As Energy Minister Josh Frydenberg pointed out last week, Queensland had almost double the number of spot price spikes above $5,000 a megawatt hour of any other state in recent years. At the same time, the state budget for 2017-18 forecast a $1.5 billion windfall from the government-owned generators over the next four years, a 110 per cent increase on the dividend outlined in the 2015-16 budget. The gaming of the system has meant that between January and the end of May, Queensland has had the highest wholesale prices in Australia, $157 a megawatt hour, 30 per cent above the national average. And that is fueling price spikes and refusing to provide competitive pricing to big industrial users is leading to avoidable job losses in manufacturing, like the 100 jobs that were lost at the Boyne Al Island aluminium smelter in Gladstone when the company had to cut production by 14 per cent. And then there's the proposal for a massive surge of renewables in Queensland, a target of 50 per cent by 2030, and this week a declaration of a unilateral net zero emissions target by 2050, all without any plan for security or reliability. And remarkably, we have already seen this play out in South Australia. We know where it ends. We know what happens if you allow left-wing ideology and politics to drive your energy policy. You get unreliable and unaffordable power, and business is driven out of your state. Now, what the Palaszczuk government is seeking to do here is undermine your competitiveness in the interests of chasing green votes in the inner city, and you can't allow them to get away with it, and we won't. <laughs> now, with the support of Tim and his team, we've taken decisive action on energy prices. We've intervened in the gas market so that households and businesses can access the gas they need at prices they can afford. We're stopping electricity companies from using the courts to overturn regulators' decisions on prices and empowering the ACCC to uncover and prevent anti-competitive and anti-consumer behaviour in the gas and electricity markets. And as Barnaby noted, we're not afraid of getting on and building things. We're building Snowy Hydro 2.0, a massive battery in the centre of the national, elec national electricity market, which will make renewables more reliable, baseload generation more valuable, and bring more power options into the system storage matched on a smaller scale by the Kidston Solar and Pumped Hydro project we're also backing in far north Queensland, west of Cairns. Now, Tim has stated his support for a new state-of-the-art, high-efficiency, low-emission coal-fired power station in north Queensland. <laughs> those, people, those people who say coal and other fossil fuels have no future are delusional and they fly in the face of all of the economic forecasts. Right now, we need hard-headed, practical, ideology-free approaches to energy. We need reliable, affordable, baseload power. That can be provided by more than one technology. All of the above is the best approach. We have plenty of energy options. Let's make sure they're judged on their merits. But to repeat what I have said for many years, best part of a decade, in fact, as the world's largest exporter of coal, we do have a vested interest 
in demonstrating that modern coal-fired technology can play an efficient part in a modern lower emission energy future. Now, our LNP coalition government has made the tough